What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 59 and today I'll be going to do something new and again I got this request uh, from a couple of days ago and it was from one of my students and after that actually I researched this topic and I found that it is a very simple thing but um, like very less I, I mean um, I mean I mean uh, not even less like there is no such tutorial available but the tutorial is very simple like we know how to actually do google search using langchain and here i'll be just going to refine that version like how to image search using or how, how to photo search using langchain and after that how to download those images right so basically you can call it download images with google search using langchain and openai so with the help of langchain and openai you will be able to download any specific image based on your like um, based on your given query okay so that is the objective of this tutorial so it means we'll be going to ask something to our uh, llm and llm will actually going to use langchain uh, tool that is a google search api tool or SERP api tool and and after that it will just search those images and after that we'll be able to uh, get the response and from the response we'll download the images okay obviously from the langchain agent we won't get the downloaded images so basically langchain will give the url version okay and from there actually we'll be able to uh, download the images okay so we'll do some extra coding so i'll show you everything okay so this is the thing like first we'll use the langchain utilities to search using google images and then we'll generate the image url from the first lesson and after that we'll just download images from the response url okay that's it in, in this uh, like link you will get the source code okay so let me minimize everything here right and after that we'll just start writing the code okay 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 so so this is going to be very basic tutorial i'm not going to um, do anything uh, extra here okay so let's see from line chain dot utilities okay import uh, what exactly you can import so basically this import utilities you have to import serp serp then api then wrapper w r a p p e right that's it then import yes and request that's it right then okay so first thing first what we'll be going to do we'll be going to actually add the serp api key so i just copy this line because i just want don't want to actually waste some additional time so basically we will search uh, we will get this key from your serp api okay so we have to just search with serp api in the google it will redirect you to the uh, website in the website you have to just sign up and you will get your key okay so that's it our environment variable is set now what we will do we will be going to create some parameters okay so we will write p a r a params and it will be going to it, this is going to be a dictionary okay so what i'll do i will just write engine okay engine so i will use uh, engine as google images okay so google images okay so this is going to be our engine okay so what language will be going to use uh, geolocation you don't uh, require and i think this engine is more than enough okay okay so right okay so now what will happen let's uh, create an instance of our search so with a variable so search equals to search api wrapper and inside that we'll be going to pass the params pa params equals to params equals to params right and then we'll be just going to create something called results okay equals to search dot run and we'll ask something from string okay and after that we'll just print this result okay so let's see what is exactly going to come okay so maybe i can just write gateway of india gateway 
So this is saying there is no module called line chain. Okay. Uh, what is this? I don't know. What is the error? <laughs> so I'm using different version of Python, maybe because of that. Okay. So you see here I got so many URLs here, right? Okay. So but this is coming as a list format but this is not a list this is a string so what do you have to do you have to just click on type and check whether what is the type uh, format of this thing because i got the result and from the result you have to actually download those images okay print and if i do it you see this is going to be string right okay so now what we'll do we'll be going to convert that into a list okay so let's keep it like this okay right okay sorry guys i just got the call so so now what you have to do you have to actually download those images right so for that first you have to convert that in this string the string into like list okay so how to do it so this is going to be very easy so what it'll do we'll be just going to first replace this and then this and then this uh, quotes okay so four replace three replacement will be there so data will be results dot replace okay so it should be this this okay then like this it should be data okay and again there is another data I'm using the same variable again and again so this is going to be again replace this first this this and at the end we'll be going to create the main variable that is going to be URLs is going to be data dot split and it will be based on the comma right so I'll got the URL so let's print this thing okay so if I print this thing this is going to give me all the URLs so if you see here yeah so now okay so so results dot replace data equals to data dot replace mm. this will quotes data equals to data URL equals to data dot split okay and data so basically I don't understand like if Yes, this with nothing, replace this with nothing. Okay, so the main concern is actually this extra thing is actually coming, and here also this extra thing is coming. I don't know from here actually these things are coming. Okay, okay, so results equals to data dot replace. Let me check what is this here. This why this is like not showing this. Let me check. Ideally, this should be replaced right mm. yes so this is replace oh okay i did a mistake i actually put two two equals to that is why the problem oh strange okay 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 no still the same problem is coming yeah, equals to data right data equals to this thing so it should be again data so i did a mistake again okay yeah uh, okay this okay it should not be comma i did a mistake it should be single quotes right and then comma okay all done fine i got the list now you see here this is a list now you have to just download this thing okay so how to download this thing so simply for url in url right? simple thing the request library is already there and then what is actually going to do uh, response 
response equals to request dot get and the URL right URL and what is actually going to happen if response status code is 200 if response dot status code equals to 200 this is going to be equals to equals to 200 right so 200 then only will be able to download if there is no uh, like uh, nothing like uh, the request is not fulfilled so it is not going to be work okay so then what is actually going to do will be going to get a file name so file name is actually going to come from the url so url dot split okay and it's going to use like this and the last thing will be our name because this is our entire url like this and i just want the last part okay this name okay like this okay so everything is done right and now what is actually going to happen uh, with open okay file name wd as file okay and file dot write equals to response dot content so this response dot content so basically i'm just writing opening this file with this name and after that i'm just writing inside that file okay and what is actually going to write print okay so if string like this and image downloaded a few if you like this and we'll be just going to write down the file name then if else we'll just write something fail to receive image failed to download okay 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 so let's do so all file will be downloaded here okay so let's see okay so see one by one every file is getting downloaded one two three four okay all, all every all downloaders are complete and let's see whether all images are actually belongs to uh, like uh, gateway of india or not so So basically, okay. So this is all our different files. So first file. So this is Gateway of India. This is this is Gateway of not Gateway of India, right? Okay. 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 This is Gateway of India. No. So it is giving some irrelevant photos as well. Okay, this is Gateway of India. This is okay. Okay, so something cool. Let's try something else as well. Okay. Mm. So let's wait. Just hold on. Mm. Um, where is this? Mm. Uh, what I what shall I pass it? Okay, mm, Mr. Colin, yeah, two thousand fifteen classic division. So it should be Chris Boomstead. So let's see. Whether we are going to get the Chris Bumstead photo or not. Photos are getting downloaded. So let's see. Too many photos are downloaded. 
so let's see because i think that will be from the top yeah so it says first so why they are saying okay i said 2024 okay so 2024 is no more there i mean not happened yet yeah so so maybe 2023 mr olympia 2003 in the, in the classic division so let's see Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is not a very refined tutorial. I don't know what exactly you guys gonna do this tutorial, but I have I have something in my mind. So basically, suppose you are going to develop some sort of uh, reporting or some sort of analysis or maybe you are going to work on some sort of uh, news generation based on some text and images so basically suppose your job is to actually uh, create an anchor driven uh, like news so first thing you have to actually capture the images uh, and news from various article and after that you will be going to summarize the entire thing and after that you will be going to create a video from the text and from the images right with the help of ai so that time this google search images are actually going to be very useful okay so this is just a vanilla version of uh, this feature but until and unless you are not using it uh, uh, to create some sort of like enterprise application or some real world use case which can solve some business problem or some 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 meaningful like uh, uh, some meaningful use cases so till the time uh, like it has no use so that is why like if you have something on your mind you can try it out or else you can send me an uh, like uh, what you said what is it you can send me some uh, uh, comments on the comment description or the comment box so that i can create some more videos out of it okay so that's it for today and before i conclude the video i just like to request something like guys uh, this is uh, this is 59 tutorial i have uploaded today so you can imagine that how much effort and like um, uh, time we are investing uh, to create this content so basically me and my teams are actually working so just a um, token of appreciation i'm expecting for all of you guys guys please if possible try to subscribe to our channel hit the like button put some comments good or bad doesn't matter but it has to be nice and let me know how you guys are feeling um, or how you guys are thinking about my content and also whenever possible try to share our videos with your family and friends so that we should get a large number of audience our ultimate goal is actually to reach large number of audience and to help them with our content okay okay with that aspect i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day and happy learning thank you